Previously. As soon as the CEO of a mutual fund house came, hmm. the invest the portfolio is full of funds. Nikhil Kamath, the OG, the co-founder of oh, Zerodha. This is beautiful. This is beautifully balanced. Thirty-five to fifty percent in equity. Imagine. This is the beautifully balanced. The founder of India's biggest equity broking platform only has less than fifty percent in equity. This is beautiful. This is called wealth preservation. Thirty-five percent in debt. मतलब इतना पैसा बना दिया कि मेरे को गवाना नहीं है. I think yeah, this is pure middle class values, you know. This is nice. हाँ. Thirty-five percent in debt, debt, gold in fifteen percent in gold. And look at point number D: zero in real estate. Zero in real estate. So now his main motive is to protect this capital. Protect the capital, not lose it. Yeah. Now see one thing: he has invested two percent in international funds due to capital controls. Okay. <laughs> liberalized remittance scheme, my guys. Under the liberalized remittance scheme, an Indian can invest up to two hundred and fifty thousand US dollars. Now, approximately two crores, basically. Huh? Yeah, two crores. Approximately two okay. crores. Now fifty percent. 2% is 1%. ठीक है? So his portfolio currently is valued at 200 crore. These guys are billionaires. Hmm. 200 crores is still a very small part. So I'm guessing these no, guys. No, but that's because uh, see, billionaires again by valuation, no? Ah, uh, cash in hand is what they're making thousand crores uh, exact profit out of which you keep a little bit back in your bank and sal- salaries etc etc. You're building yeah. that wealth. But that is 200 crores. Assume cash in bank invested. Invested. Uh, Cash in actual bank, पता नहीं कितना है, and cash in shares and valuation is a different game. Exactly. Last year, his portfolio has not performed as good hmm. as the other ones. Fifteen percent in equity, five percent in debt, fifteen uh, percent returns in gold. Wow. And ये कौन सा investment कर रहे हैं लोग? Alternative asset class. ये मेरे को भी जानना है ये कौन सा नया सोना है market में जो पंद्रह दस पंद्रह. Do you think because Nikhil Kamath is a trader? Hmm. Do you think uh, he must be trading gold ETFs constantly? I don't know. Today something they posted also. Alok Jain posted something about gold ETF jumping from fifty two to thirty eight in one day. Up and down. Gold bees. So volatile. It, it's not possible. So someone's doing like. Liquidity issue, no. Hmm. So someone's pumping, dump, not pumping, wow. dumping, but whatever. No, but you know, I'll, I'll. Okay, let me ask you this question. Equity says fifteen percent. Why do you think it's at fifteen percent? Uh, I think he is like his vision is to what I have read. Yeah. Capital protection, large Correct. cap funds, large conservative cap. Yeah. large cap. Yeah, funds. because That's the Nifty index think. gave approximately the same. Yes. So that means he's predominantly out of that fifty percent. I think. मोस्ट ऑफ इट इज लार्ज कैप नहीं तो थोड़ा अल्फा होता था अगर मिड और स्मॉल कैप में ज्यादा होता था वॉट आई फील इज दैट ही मेक्स द बिगर चंक वाइल ट्रेडिंग and investment portfolio that doesn't come so this is only your capital preservation yes and maybe Large this is stocks. just दिमाग नहीं लगाना बाई द एशियन पेंट्स एच डी एफ सीज ऑफ द वर्ल्ड छोड़ दो बाकी ट्रेडिंग में ध्यान दो Have you booked profits in 2021 market rally? Yes. <laughs> yes, yes. Of course, trader. Hai. He's gonna do it. Are you changing on equity exposure, Redu- reducing and increasing gold allocation? Yeah, because they've realized the bull market is over. Oh. I told you know now everyone's portfolio next year. You ask them, they're all nobody will have 85%. Yeah. Because now you're gonna start getting drawdowns. Exactly. Significant drawdown. Now you will not do that. Now you'll go back to gold. Okay. One, he reviews his portfolio every month. That's quite interesting. Yeah, I think that's, that's also a, uh, because he's a trader inherently, so he has possible. to constantly But check. But reviewing his probably. equity portfolio, which is large cap, no need to do it. Ah, zarurat to nahi hai. Zarurat to nahi hai vaise large cap ke. One strategy that work for your portfolio diversification fair. Yeah, <laughs> he's very bullish on gold. Very <laughs> bullish on gold. I like this. More hedge than others, but it's okay. I would rather be on the side of caution than take more risk. This has always been there, no? Both of them. Both of them. Both of them are like this. Very. And even with their business. Yeah. Like, we won't. There's no funding. greed. It's very sustainable uh, wealth creation is something, and it's so hard in a bull market not to get greedy. Exactly. So hard. Exactly. It's very difficult. And they have access to everything, right? Yeah. All the resources, and still they resources, are like. Resources, information. What do you need? You have it. For how long will your emergency funds last? Five years. They are like zero. That can be even closed. Can be five years. Can be emergency fund. Just imagine That's five a... years. That means how much is we spending per month? <laughs> <laughs> If let's say at least fifteen lakhs. Yeah. You are saying that he yeah, stays yeah. in a very plush yeah, residence yeah. in Bangalore, right? That so much be... more than than much more. Much more. I know the rent. So I'm not going to discuss okay. that. Okay. Much more. Okay. Then so so maybe twenty five, thirty lakhs a month. Three, six. Yeah, fifteen crore. That's yeah, small amount. Small for amount him. for them. Small for amount him. for them. Not small for amount us. for them. <laughs> for him. And also the fact that these guys are like 
first we want to be safe that is it is consistent yeah. there is a consistent yeah, yeah. theme that these guys are and also here is a massive amount in gold yeah that itself i would still allocate some of that into like because all his emergency fund is in tax free bonds so that's quite interesting the next is one of my favorite saurav mukherjee yeah, yeah. founder and ci of marcellus investment managers coffee uh, can my long term video portfolio, you made a video we all made a my long term portfolio is Uh, on the idea of coffee can. No, I like the idea. It's a beautiful, It's beautiful simple. idea. It's simple. Two not... idea hai. Sales बढ़ना चाहिए. Correct. पैसे में return आ रहा है कि नहीं. That's Correct. it. Very simple. Consistent compounding. And he's okay. He's, he says also out of these ten stocks or fifteen stocks that you have, चलो three might lose, four might lose, but the remaining eight, ten will give you so much uh, gains yeah. that will cover up for all of them. Exactly. Over the... Exactly. So yeah, good information. You should follow his videos. I think he has a lot of videos on. Uh, Even Saurav Mukherjee has a lot of videos on yes. online where you should definitely go read. अच्छा knowledge है मतलब good knowledge. And if you want a video on coffee can, both of us have already done it. We have done it. Search for it on YouTube. You will find one. This equity ninety percent. Damn, I've seen all these fund managers are just investing heavily into equity, and I think most of it is their zone. Yeah. And debt ten percent. No gold. No real estate. No AIF. No FDs. No exposure. Oh, FDs to they're in debt. Okay, cool. Okay. And I don't see the logic of he has not invested in gold because he doesn't see the logic of investing in gold. You get returns less than equities. Proportion of equity in international fund is twenty percent out of ninety percent. So that's like how much? That's eighteen percent of his total yeah. portfolio is in international funds. Yeah, that's crazy. Wow, wow, that's quite a quite a bit. That's quite a bit. I'm guessing he also uh, he is a he is a value investor. Yeah. Maybe he also might be investing. Uh, in Berkshire or something. Yeah, I'll tell you what. Uh, there's one very important point, number seven, which makes me understand why he's so heavy on equity. He's saying that um, we sit on this position and try to earn ten years. And if you look at prop- point eight, he's not booked profit and he doesn't remove the stocks. So if you don't remove the stocks, then having that kind of allocation is fine. The problem we say is that that kind of allocation is because you have to remove it for some emergency reason tomorrow. Exactly. You want to dip into it and the market crashes and emergency comes in bad times. Then you are in a problem if you are yeah. overexposed to something. Either which way, overexposure is not good, right? But if you are say ninety percent equity exposure, but you can keep it for fifteen years, then then you are so. Solved. In my case, my current portfolio, I have yeah. zero uh, in gold, zero in real estate. Yeah. Excluding my emergency fund, my debt must be around ten fifteen percent. Crypto is ten fifty percent and seventy yeah. percent in equity. Got it. That seventy percent, I know I am not going to touch. Yeah. Yeah. It's an amount which I'm not going to touch. You should keep it for yeah whatever. forever, my son. Yeah, and this is inspired by Saurabh. Yeah, exactly. And I'm very happy that his investment portfolio is also consistent with his thoughts and his thoughts, strategies. Yeah. Usually, people say something and actually do something. Yeah, else. exactly. Yeah, but it's very difficult, guys, to keep it like this for ten years. Like to create a portfolio and maintain it for ten years, and you keep looking at the returns, boss. Plays with your mind. Very, very. You should just not look at it. Dal ke chhod do. This is the. Put and forget वाला concept, right? Out of that, two three might go to full loss, thirty, fifty, sixty percent loss doesn't matter, right? The remaining should, unless uh, um, provided your fundamentals and you have done the research yeah. properly for your good stocks, consistent compounders. And here also his return is up twenty percent, which means that he is investing his con- in large that's caps. His, yeah, yeah, that's his consistent compounding figure yeah. only. For how long will emergency funds last? Three years worth of living expenses and FDs. Nice. Respect, respect. FDs, sir. Huh? Will you raise investment share towards international funds? International equities will remain around twenty twenty five percent of my overall. That's equity enough. Part. Yeah. That's anyway. I feel and, a bit too much also. So and by fine. the way, he is investing via PMS in London. Yeah. Saint James Place Capital in London manages, manages my international. international ah, got it. Okay, so ऐसा नहीं है कि मतलब खुद कर रहे हैं. हाँ, खुद कर रहे हैं. So he is actually giving it to another PMS. Yeah. Smart, no. Very PMS smart. giving to another PMS. And the last is the founder of Small Case, Vasant oh, nice. Kamath. Fifty-five percent in equity, twenty-five to thirty percent in debt, ten percent in gold, and five ten percent in alternate asset class, which includes private equity, and finally, crypto. Crypto assets. Someone has invested in crypto. So this is the most balanced portfolio I've seen. This is balanced. This is this very is balanced. balanced. Gold is balanced, debt is balanced, equity is balanced, and crypto ka jo ratio hai, wo bhi perfect hai. Sab kuch hai. Yes. Everything's perfect right now in this. Yeah. You are very well protected. Nice This, one, Vasant. <laughs> very nice. Very nice. <laughs> His equity portfolio has given around nineteen twenty percent, so I'm guessing it's between large and mid, mid caps. Mid, yeah, large and mid. Debt is four and a half, four four and a half percent is fine. Gold is twelve. Hey, What are these guys doing? Yeah, कुछ कोई time पे उन्होंने. इनके time पास कुछ scheme है. Someone has come and told them, boss, अभी खरीदो, आपको पंद्रह percent मिल जाएगा. Twelve percent gold returns. That's like why would anyone invest in equity? Dude, that is that is that's too good. <laughs> yeah, too that's good. Actually, very good. Too good. And in a bull market, twelve percent. Usually, it's exactly. an inverse relation. So. Exactly. Uh, alternate. He's not talking about his crypto gains. Good, good, smart. Are you shifting between market segments and equity allocation? Ah, uh, okay. 
more coverage on mid cap and small cap teams new age see that's because of the risk appetite again right his risk appetite is very high like yeah. higher than the rest so he can afford to take more mid cap and small cap bets and you keep the large cap for stability yeah that's he must be what around 30 yeah so yeah of yeah. course yeah. so that you can take that risk. small kind of risk yeah this guy has not invested in tech stocks in these last two so years very weird he because out. the last two years the tech rally has been insane and yeah. with covid it was like a very obvious choice that tech stocks are going to do well exactly uh, and now it is declining because kuch zyada hi bhag liya tha pharma and tech was something that did the most run in this and hmm. obviously adani the darling of the stock market but i'm surprised because it tracker is one of small cap small cases best most performing uh, yeah best performing yeah. baskets let yeah. it their ev ev did really well the tata house house he is investing 80 percent of his equity portfolio via hmm. small case strategies this is something which i have seen and it's very consistent ki sab apne hi strategy mein invest kar yeah this also shows the confidence that you have so he's doing it in smart beta uh, dividend strategy specialty dividend capital capital team that that's done really well uh, financial intermediary is okay uh, manufacturing is going to do well now i would say it dude how like he missed out it and ev like yes. the two most significant plays that happened in the last two years uh, like Okay, fine. Okay. I mean, it's good emergency fund. That's all for today's video, guys. Thank you, Shashank, for doing this. It was fun, man. It I think it was really we, fun. But the most important thing is you see how different people at dif- playing at different levels are investing in different styles, right? Exactly. You see some guys who are very aggressive, some guys who are just playing a very safe game, um, some guys who are playing only funds game, right? It's it's great. And what I realized is most of them are personality plays as well. People who are PMS are investing in PMS. Fund yes. managers are investing in fund managers. uh the kamats are doing a very again that whole personas in that thing right and small yes. cases personas also there i feel that uh this goes on to say that personal finance is very personal personal yeah you should never copy you should never blindly follow someone's strategy because it yeah. might not work for you as well as it is doing for the other person yeah so that's all for today's video if you found anything valuable then please please hit the like button this is a new channel your <laughs> love and support will keep me motivated and that red color button downstairs which is called subscribe please click on that as well that's so, also very important <laughs> i'll see you guys in the next one see you bye bye